Hi guys, I am still Anna and I am still baby trading and I am in the binary options. You all, all of you just know that and I hope that and if you are the newcomer, I'm just welcoming you and I hope you're going to be interested in trading. It is a little bit, you know, just like specific, a little bit more professional because I am more, you know, into my decision making and stuff like that. But if you know, if you wanted to know some, you know, how it's just working, how I am making my decisions. And it's not about, you know, books reading. It's not about how it's working, lots of theory. It's just about how do I check the chart? How do I read the indicators? You are just at the right point. We're gonna get the strategy just to be done and working in today's market. We start. So we're gonna start just with the setups, one minute interval, here's gonna be the money and here's the assets or the currency pairs that we're gonna use today. With the biggest payouts and the pocket option, it's so, so actually often that it's more than 90%. So here's the candles, it's going to be 30 seconds and actually I am, you know, like jumping into one setup from one into another, but it's actually quite important, especially on the candles and the period of candles because the time of trading almost all the time, I use one minute in these videos, but the period, you know, of candles, sometimes 30 seconds, sometimes 15, sometimes a minute. And that's actually important. You may remember the indicators that I actually chose and the strategy itself, but this little tiny, but quite important details you actually can just miss. So this is the awesome oscillator and the RSCI. And here is it how it's gonna be just for us today and I love this awesome oscillator or any oscillators because they're quite informative they're quite easy to understand but actually you need some knowledge just you know just in case if you want to predict how it's gonna be in a little bit while so we start and we're gonna go for the first bat today So here is the situation where we're gonna make our first pad and look at that. RSCI firstly, just firstly showed us that we're gonna get for some downward trend and just in a while awesome oscillator just duplicated that. So it just repeated the tendency that we already detected. So in that case RSCI a little bit, you know, in that case the first indicator and the awesome oscillator is like the second one. But we are looking for the combination of these indicators. So Two of them quite important still. Let's see the result for this trade. So here we are. Yep, here's a little bit different. And look at that. RSI reacting just you know immediately on the chart. It is more and more and more precisely correct. And awesome oscillator is still the candles. You know, there's the periods of these awesome oscillator candles. So you need to know that we are expecting, you know these candles to appear in the act of what's going on on the chart. And with the RSCI, it is just showing us how it's going to be not only now, but in the closest future. So the next situation, it actually quite simply a naive maybe strategy. I like it because it's quite, you know, quite a tool if you want to have such a you know, profitable trades. So we made this, we made this bad for a downward trend. And I want you just to see how it's going to be in the end. And then just, you know, to discuss why we actually made it like that. And just look at that. What actually gave me the hint that it's going to be some, you know, diversity that is going to be some changes first of all the whole chart yeah we've been detecting this you know big big rising of the green candles but then look at the rsei look at the awesome oscillator we see some changes we see some switching and i see just how unstable this chart is and i do not predict that it's going to be some you know some i don't know upward trend for a long time and most of the reason for that is just 
if you look at the RSI chart, you see that we were located actually in the upper part. If you look at the awesome oscillator or the chart itself, you can see that we already just in the upper part. So this is quite important that we do not expect that it's going to be higher and higher and higher because we are now in the down part. That's important. And just as it is, again and again, I am on the green candles. I am with the RSCI showing us we get an upward, but I make the downward pad. And just look at that situation. First of all, awesome as a little showing us some red candles, but this is not the tiniest candle. This is not the trend that we are trying to get, you know, below zero. But anyway, look at the RSCI. We still see some unstable trajectory. We see some, we see still some, you know, changing and uh, look at the chart still green candles and red one green red green red and it's like you know the high volatility situation and in that situation you know it's a little bit naive to just to predict that it's going to be you know so clean and smooth rising or falling so in that case i am predicting that it's going to be like that but i told you many many times and the situations like that it is quite tricky quite dangerous and actually sometimes that it doesn't matter what level you gotta be you know uh expect just because in some cases if it's flat you still can have you know your like a bad for upward trend it's still gonna be correct so you just need to see how it is and rsci were showing us that we're getting a little bit more downward you know in the feel of the chart we're getting a little a little more downward so that's why i just assume that it's gonna be more about you know below than upper And just let's finish with the long, long explanations. I am raising my bags. And again, look at that. Green candle and red candle, so the awesome oscillator. And RSI looking upward. But what I am actually expecting out of this awesome oscillator candles, red one, I do expect it's going to be some changing. Yep, there is the chance that this awesome oscillator going to get some, you know, uh, downward and below zero but together with the RSCI I do expect it's not gonna be you know that drastic maybe it's gonna be still a few candles of that but then we're gonna get back so I am expect that it's gonna be the changes of the trend and still we've been detecting that this chart been more downward just a little while ago but out of this all indicators and my feeling I do not predict that it's gonna be still you know some drastic drastic fall so just a little bit i told you just like no long explanations no more and i just gave it to you this long explanation again and again but i wanted to be all clear because i make my decision quite fast and before i start to you know record this video i also check the situation it's not like the one second i see and one second i make my decision no not like that and don't just get the wrong impression you know out of what i'm showing here as my videos i do check lots of things So let's make it the last one. I know that one of the at one of the first pads, I just told you that it's the naive and simple strategy. Yep, in some cases, but I just try to choose a little bit more difficult situations just because the strategy is simple, but the market could be not so simple. And look at that, RSI the flattest, just so flat. So it's just turning you know from here to there and the line is quite quite flat but awesome as was showing us this is the downward trend and rsci yeah but it was flat but anyway we wasn't expecting that it's going to be so upward and just because the awesome as letter showing it to us because we are now just below zero if we're going to be the upper zero you may see that was the situation just a while ago when the awesome as letter started to go down down and down and you may see that the chart will also like you know just playing like in breaking break here right now but in that case, when we are below zero and RSI quite flat, we play for that, you know, we play for that situation that is going to be still more downward, even if it's not going to be so drastic. So this was the latest one. And I am quite satisfied because I actually could find lots of situations and that actually quite rare when you can catch, you know, so difficult, so interesting situation in your trading. So it's just done. 
I am, as I told you before, quite satisfied. I quite like that, what we actually had today, just because that was interesting. And I am thinking actually about maybe collect some difficult cases and maybe do videos, not about the one solid strategy, but to collect, you know, difficult situations, difficult strategies, where I was maybe sometimes, you know, just the point when I got, you know, so risk it and just in the end or win and it's just the perfect situation or lose and just because that's trading and that could happen to everyone i hope you like that and i'm just welcoming you back all of the time that you are here in the channel so stay tuned we're gonna get some more